Um, okay, so let, let's, there's one kind of philosophical argument that interests me. Another, it's, a, it, it's an area or an argument, but it's perhaps an illustration of these things. I'm okay. I told you about my first experiences with what I, you know, now recognise as logic and the importance of of, of of being able to overthrow one argument by show, by finding a parallel to it that's not evident yes. no good right um okay so this this so so in logic we have some how shall i say need to grasp general forms Yes. Need to grasp what's what's a what's a fair parallel to what? You know, what's a what's a genuine illustration of the logical pattern um, and what's what's not a genuine illustration of a logical pattern. Or 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 more generally sometimes why do familiar logical patterns that seem to be all right fail when we come and uh, apply them? Yeah. So so um so okay, so one thing that I that I particularly love is how sh how shall I say, you know, logical anomalies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, just as I was extremely fortunate to be taught Latin and Greek at, a, at an early age, I was extremely fortunate at a, at a slightly only slightly later age to be taught first order logic. Yeah, that, that's even weirder, I would say. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, it, it, in a way, it's it's a bit like what Latin was trying to be, or at any rate, the kind of Latin that I learned was, uh, you know, almost as formalized. But, okay, yes. you, okay, neat, beautiful syntax, you get, but, but, you know, unlike unlike Latin grammar, you can get it all onto a postcard, right? So, beautiful syntax, beautiful expressive language in various ways. Uh, but then you know there are how shall I say anomalies that that yeah. that, that that you get now. Uh, so what you know what 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 so okay so I mean one project is to say something like this and this is a project that Quine went in for and indeed lots of followers of Quine. First order logic anything that can be said at all can be said in these terms yeah, it can be said clearly i remember that <laughs> it can be said at all anything yeah. worth saying perhaps that would be it worth yeah worth, <laughs> say, worth saying clearly if it can be said clearly it can be said in first order logic uh right okay uh and then that 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 means that, well that there's there's various that uh, has various consequences for instance um uh one of the things that we First order logic, the technical term is uh, uh, okay. It's so-called extensional. Mod modality is not extensional. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, one thing is to say, well, modality is a load of rubbish. We should just not talk about what could be, or might be, or has to be. Just talk about what. Yeah. It yes. Uh, uh, but I mean, another another response, which is still in that, uh, still in that, the Klein camp is to say, no, modality is worth saying. Since it's worth saying, it's worth saying. It can be, it can be said in first order logic. <laughs> so what can you possibly mean when you say that might be so, though it isn't in fact so? Oh, well, what can these modal signs mean? Well, it, it, they've got to mean something in first order logic. Well, they're not truth functional connectives. Oh, not predicate. Ah, quantifiers. They're okay. Mm -hmm. So you say there is a world in which you do so and so, right? And it's other than this world. So you discover other worlds. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, or there's, a, there's another uh, similar example of that pattern in, in Davidson, which you, you know you, you take you take adverbs. Is anything worth saying with an adverb? Well, you might think so, but adverbs don't actually. You know, he ran, he ran quick, he ran quickly, therefore he ran. Uh, you know, and quickly there isn't, doesn't fit into first order logic. Yeah. Obviously. Oh, but you can, you can say, you can start saying there was an event. It was a running. It was by him and it was quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that, then you get quickly, running yeah, quickly. And then, and then, and then, 
then okay, you, you, you treat it as a as an adverb. Actually, it's a predicate of of some. But what can it be a predicate of? It's an event. So there must be events. Well, it won't just consist of you and me and shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. There'll be runnings, for instance, that can be the things of which adjectives are predicated. Now, I I know I, I I find I find those arguments bonkers. <laughs> but I, I, I know, uh, the the uh, the 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 this the pattern of trying to trying to force into into this model, uh, you know, of what is you know, it's, it's first order logic is an extraordinarily impressive intellectual achievement. It is amazing. It's wonderful, yeah. right? So. Uh, but uh, and and it's certainly worth pressing it to see how far you can go with it. <laughs> but but when we take it that far, I think we've gone too far. Yeah. So so one one of the things that, that, that has interested me is let's say um, well I got interested in 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 tense and how you handle tense in. in uh, given that you're not going to do it in first order logic or another thing um for, for instance okay here's a kind of modal uh, operator i mean usual modal uh, logic just deals with it is possible it is necessary it is impossible can can't mm -hmm. those well i'm interested in things there's a sort of in that general area but aren't any of those like easy it's easy mm. to do so and so, which is, ah. which is <laughs> a bit more than just you can do so and so. Yes, uh, but it, it, it's 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 not as it's not a, that you must do so and so, <laughs> uh, or or it's difficult. Okay, you can treat the impossible as an extreme case of the difficult. So difficult is is sort of you know on the way to impossible. So yes. it's not the same, but it's not the same as impossible. So, <laughs> so then you know you've got the these the, the, the these things. What it what is easy or difficult for you to do? Uh, and they they, uh, I mean, they are actually susceptible of a formal treatment, which 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 I know I I which I, I find I find that I find that fascinating. That's that well basically. Well, uh, uh, yes, there's a gradation, let's say, of, of yeah, things that they're yeah, proposing. Yeah, where... yeah, you can do, you can do, uh, you can do instead of Aristotelian squares of opposition, you know, yeah, aren't, can, can not. Uh, uh, you can do, you can do, uh, uh, you can do with the right assumptions, uh, rectangles of opposition. <laughs> Yes, uh, and you, you, you must do it. It's difficult for you not to do it. It's easy for you to do it. You can do it. Yes. And well, then, I, I was thinking. I was thinking. What would be the the other extreme? Because okay, the impossible is the extreme case of the of the difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But on the other side would be things that are already done. <laughs> maybe. Well, well, the, <laughs> th th okay, th thing, things that are necessary, and that will include. Uh, things that are already done i mean this is one of the things that that fascinates me is the this goes back to diodorus chronos right it is the interaction between tense logic and 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 modal logic so so the fact that that when something has happened you know there isn't you can't do anything to stop it having happened yeah okay uh so so that if that's if that's not enough for it to be a necessary truth yeah that it's happened um i don't know what is so 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 yeah so that so this 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 kind of link between the all right two apparently different things that that both of which are how should i say tricky to handle in terms of first order logic tense and modality both tense and modality it turns out to be that they are connected or connectable and that's something that fascinates me <laughs> that's amazing yeah and, that, and that's great because um I, I don't know if people get uh the chance to be asked uh in a more it's like being a, a child again like okay what fascinates you about philosophy because then you can see your professional life either you, yours mine who, 
that doesn't matter who. And and then you see, you know, publications, everything, you know, very formal and well presented, etc. Because it, it is the process, you know, that, that yeah. makes you but write in such a way. The, the great thing about being a professional philosopher is you don't really need to grow up. Well, that wh that's why I'm here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it, it's uh, well, of course in a way it, it can be just, 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 just as well too cheap you know uh, 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 well it's, uh, I don't really understand so and so the you know the the immediate pose of the of the little child saying that the emperor has no intellectual clothes on so this is this is one that's easy to adopt but in some ways maybe maybe too easy but uh, but uh, uh, um, the the um, I mean, there's, there's, when, when somebody tries that on just as an argumentative ploy, there's a brilliant answer that comes from Samuel Johnson. Uh, I'm afraid I don't really understand Dr. Johnson, Bob. To which he replied, I have found you an argument, sir. I am not bound to find you an understanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, 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 in Cuba, they have a, a saying that it was like, no one can learn from another person's head. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, that's how I would just make I it. hope that's false, since I, uh, otherwise I'll have been fraudulently claiming a living by teaching at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh, but also, like, you know, if if this is of any consolation, let's say that remind what you just said reminds me of uh, Bruce Lee. I think he said that um, mm. do, to his students, like, do not teach what I taught you; uh, teach what you learned uh -huh. from. Yeah, and okay. we we all learn something from the, being in contact with our teachers. So <laughs> okay, well, well, I, I mean, certainly, you know, quite quite apart from things explicitly that I was explicitly told, things like I mean, I have uh, fortunate to I won't some of them are, uh, are still living. I won't embarrass them by mentioning their names, but they they taught me quite as much, uh, you know, method and manners and. Uh, 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 and and so on, as you know, any particular truths of which they informed me, they showed me by their example how to how to go about the subject. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Well, uh, I have one last question for you, <laughs> which may be of uh, interest for um, aspiring students, uh, whether they are in the undergrad first steps, let's say, of either philosophy or classics. Yeah. Um, or postgraduate students, uh, maybe yeah. PhDs, because I, I, I guess that the advice would be different, right? Um, yeah. But um, what would you recommend or what would you like them to know uh, before jumping into this or if not before, even whilst they're there? Yeah. Um, what could be an encouraging word or yeah, like okay. share, share, share your wisdom with us? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think, I think the great thing about philosophy is is that there are books that are readily approachable, you know, short and in some sense easy to understand, to get to grips with, that are nevertheless classics of the most serious kind of philosophy. So, I mean, Descartes' Meditations, um, Plato's Mino, uh, you know, there, there's, there's a few things like that that, that um, uh, and I don't think this is this is really quite so for for any other subject. I may be wrong there, but but you know if you if you want to learn geometry, uh, say uh, that you know there are more there are there are more recent ways of going about it than than Euclid. Great though it was for its day. Yes, yes. But but you know uh, but but uh, uh, but but okay. So I think read a few of those. Read a few of those. Read a few of those classics. Um, be uh, be prepared to, to pause and think. Um, I think mother. More okay. More general thing. People. It's probably not so much for. Uh, this doesn't happen so much to proper philosophers, but um, to. I'm trying to think of an uninsulting way to say this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Want to, I want to know now. <laughs> right, yeah, right. You, know, you can uh, tell me later. <laughs> the, 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 the sort of person who has, shall I say, a basically literary mentality. 
I mean, the, ah, the, okay, okay. As the, there is, I'm afraid, uh, 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 how should I say, a certain readiness to be accept, to be ready to, uh, to a certain willingness to accept and be impressed by verbal waffle. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 I think if you're going to be any good as a philosopher, you need to be. Uh, you need to be, uh, how shall I say, intellectually suspicious. Yeah. Doesn't mean inst instantly dismissing anything just because you can't understand it. But there are, you know, there are things that are that are strange and perhaps you don't immediately understand what you're getting at. But a little effort, you realise that, that, say, Descartes' meditations are up to something. Up to something very, very good. Whereas I'm afraid there's there's a lot who, who how shall I say, uh, get readily bowled over by by obscure stuff i mean the classic example would be there was the nice experiment of of, of sokal and his in his submission to social text which was a submission oh, yeah. a postmodern pa parody to the big journal yeah. didn't they published it without realizing that it was that it was rubbish because it was yeah. from the rubbish that they admired um, so yeah, so so be uh, be suspicious. Also, I think think more generally, um, have a sense of absurdity. In in what sense? Well, <laughs> well, if, if you allow me a question. To, to, well, uh, one well to to realize when when some argument isn't going well that he, the, that there's something there's something a bit weird here about. That. Uh, as it, as it might be uh the the uh the rain the rain on the hands example yes uh you know don't don't just don't just uh uh shove your shoulders at it but think, but you know well i've i've taught some very clever kids and there's all of them i think have uh, been able to to laugh at something that was silly before they could say why it was silly. Yeah. Okay. If you have like uh, like Spider Man has the spider sense. This is like a, an absurdity yeah. silliness sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, um, I, well, uh, th there is one exception. I I, I did teach a, a a a very very sober, humorless, but extremely clever boy, but, but who. Who could uh, who could follow follow lines of arguments wherever they led? Fair enough, but without realizing that they were leading somewhere jolly silly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> which which happens a lot in ancient philosophy. In many yeah. cases, like sometimes the conclusion tends to be like, just like let let's laugh at uh, this yeah, guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. So so so. But then, you know, a, a sense of humor is valuable. But that means that means laughing at the right spot. Uh, yeah, uh, be, being able, being. But but don't you know? Don't don't feel don't feel obliged to be to be solemn or to think that the stuff you're reading cannot be ludicrous or cannot be moving you in a ludicrous direction. Yes. Yeah. Actually, it often does in, in many cases. I don't know, yeah. or at yeah. least that's been my experience these recent years. Like we've been translating yeah. here the, the the indivisible lines. The, this okay. uh, sort of Aristotle yeah, okay. and, and uh, absurdities are all across the text. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, so this is no. I mean that, that that that's that's a lovely example. But the okay, all the stuff about invis indivisibility infi infinity of the, whether it's the infinitely small or the infinitely big i mean that you need to pick there are ways of picking your picking your way around that or through that yes but it uh without without setting off how shall i say the minds of absurdity <laughs> yeah provoking explosions of laughter uh, the contradiction yeah. you're getting yourself into, but it, it's it's tricky. Uh, uh, so, but you know, beware, beware of these things. Yeah. Okay, that, that's great. And any yeah. particular advice for the PhD people? 
because it's a different journey, right? The, the outcome may be quite different from that of an undergraduate. undergraduate. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I mean, I would say, um, okay, P PhD in philosophy or in art subjects generally is not like, not like PhD in, in, in say, laboratory science. Yes. You know, you, with laboratory science, you, you know, you get, uh, you get regular company. You go into the lab. You can talk to people. You you have part of a team running at running at a big experiment or something like that. So, it, so it can be very lonely, right? Mm -hmm. in, in an art subject. So, so I think the thing to do is, um, you know, make sure you get as much intellectual sustenance as you can or intellectual companionship as you can talk to which means talking to other other students and how should i say not being too picky or specialized you know what, what, can, can you expand on that like what, well, what do you mean you know, there, uh, there, uh, there are other people will be doing interesting things uh, get them to explain what they're up to uh huh. Okay. Uh, and then you, you know, you can explain. That, I mean, there's few things that will actually help you you understand what you're getting at than having to explain it to somebody else. Yes. So, it's like, uh, like a test of how clear or how how well you understand the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so talk, talk, talk to other philosophers. I mean, that's. I think that's actually. I think that goes. That goes for for undergraduate study as well. I mean, I. Mm -hmm. I had amazing teachers as, as an undergraduate. I think I, I probably learned quite as much from, 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 from talking to people outside these formal contexts. So, so I mean, this, this is one of the things I, I particularly value about the college context in Cambridge. And it's not just philosophy, it's just very easy to have a conversation on more or less anything. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, that, 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 you, know you, you go into a hall and you can, you know, you, you, you can get somebody to you can talk to you about about all sorts of things. <laughs> now, I, I always remember my dear mum once once saying to me, "My my, my poor mum, of an age didn't didn't go to university, but loved learning. And as soon as she retired, she spent all available moments going to adult education courses and so on. But she That's once great. she once said to me." Um, it can't be there must be a lot of tiresome stuff about being the queen but there must there's one really good thing she says if you're the queen you can tell the experts to come and have tea or have lunch with you and yes you can, make, <laughs> and you can make them explain their things to you yes and that for my mum that was that was the absolute uh, absolute intellectual ideal to get to get you know, get other people to talk to you about what they what what they understood about. Well, that, that's actually true. I remember that I, I don't know the, the title of this book in in English, maybe because sometimes they differ. But in Spanish, it was like Philosophy for Princesses, mm. and it was a, a collection of uh, Descartes' uh, correspondence with uh, um, well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Different yeah. royals, let's say, and he was <laughs> yeah. explaining philosophical topic and sometimes getting refute refutations, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but in a in a letter format, devoid yeah. from all the technical jargon, very uh, you know okay. uh, to the yeah. point, and yeah. and it was fantastic, yeah. fantastic. All right, okay, okay, no, great. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. sorry, sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry, it was not the gas, it was Leibniz. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, philosophy for princess. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but uh, well, this this is what my uh, my my mum relished. So so she sometimes went to philosophical courses like. Like history, like archaeology. I remember she mm -hmm. she was explaining to me a marvelous thing that she did. Uh, 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 this was um, basically history of agriculture. So partly history in a narrow sense, but a lot of archaeology in it as well. And so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fascinating. But but also speaks loads of um, never stopping uh, this. Let's say thirst for knowledge. Like, you know, yeah. 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 You, you cannot quench that once you have, you know, uh, awakened <laughs> awaken the beast, you know. <laughs> or, or, um, you got to keep. Or, yeah. <laughs> yes, you want to know. When you want to know more, and uh, I think that's a very common thing among people yeah. uh, who go for, for philosophy for further studies, etc. Is that yeah. 
Yeah. They're normally very curious people about something. Yeah. But they're very curious. Uh, curious. Strange. Uh, often, strange. And often in general, yes. And uh, not often <laughs> yeah. unexpected stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick, uh, it's been a pleasure. I don't know if you have an anecdote you would like to share with us that uh, randomly uh, that, that you say like, okay, this is a great anecdote from my career. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as, a, as a, you know, as a closing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, um, uh, uh... Gosh, now you put me on the spot. I don't. Perhaps you, give <laughs> you, me... you don't have to say names anyway. <laughs> I, 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 I thought of that, but, but uh, 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 not, uh, not in me. Because I'm afraid some of my best anecdotes don't don't sh show me or, or or the other people involved in the very best light. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we 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 will share those in a private manner then. <laughs> 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 next time we see each other it's lovely to chat to you so, uh, uh, so thank you. Thank you. okay it's All right. quite an honor to have you here so let's say bye to okay. uh, our audience <laughs> all right bye. So, bye everyone thank you for bye, being there please sub subscribe to the channel and <laughs> put a channel. like I'm yeah sorry. okay <laughs> okay bye, then. thank you very uh, much bye, bye.